This is what you actually, actually need to know about Bitcoin as a beginner. And because last night I was at this brewery by my house that they take Bitcoin and, uh, you know, five of us are talking who's, who are like into Bitcoin, right? Been into it for a few years. New guy as a beginner comes up. This is, this is a real conversation at my house, at a brewery or near my house, at a brewery that takes Bitcoin. New person asks, you know, Hey, you guys are into Bitcoin. You know, what do I need to know or whatever? And there was a beautiful answer. Like one of our friends gave a beautiful answer and it, it was this, like you have to understand, you have to understand right off the bat that Bitcoin is both an investment and a philosophy. And that might sound weird again, as a beginner, but hear it out, hear it out. There's two parts to it. And the reason why finding good information about Bitcoin on YouTube is sometimes so random and hard. And it's because there are these two things that keep like slamming into each other and Bitcoin is both. It's, 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 you can talk about it just straight up through an investment lens, but you can also talk about it straight up through a philosophy lens. And so first off on the investment part, Bitcoin is fundamentally the best performing asset of the last 10 years. That's a fact, like that's a fundamental fact that the exchange rate of Bitcoin measured against the leading fiat money uh, dollars is the best investment of that time period. So that's one way to define like what is Bitcoin as a beginner. Also, also you can get into the like Bitcoin is, this is on the philosophy side, Bitcoin is in like open source network of like uh, open source monetary policy that's known in stone can't be affected by humans and that is fundamentally better than politically driven fiat money because then you go into kind of this whole rabbit trail of like the implications of that on society and so both of those things are true and so the first thing to know off the bat as a beginner is that bitcoin has an investment side and it also has a philosophy side the other thing I told the guy as he was leaving was like, and this is from a very American perspective. I told him, you know, this is what's happening in this town that we're in right now is that one brewery takes it um, and you can know that it's an investment and it's a philosophy. Across the world right now, like El Salvador has adopted Bitcoin as legal tender. So Starbucks, McDonald's, like big corporations, small businesses in El Salvador take Bitcoin as legal tender even more seamlessly than I just demonstrated for him right now. And then what's gonna happen to this guy also, he's gonna go about his normal day, watching the news, all this stuff, and still see the like ETF coverage, stock market coverage, all the stuff of like Bitcoin being listed alongside all of that right now. And then, you know, it's, it's an election year and uh, the political candidates on both sides are talking about Bitcoin and so they're going to go, you know, throughout the next 70, 80 days into the um, election in 2024 and like hear it there. And Bitcoin's very mainstream now. Everyone already kind of like has their opinion. And so as a beginner, you kind of have to recognize what your opinion is, but then not let your opinion get segmented into, again, just the investment case or the philosophy case. Hold both of those things and then hold an American perspective and a global perspective all at the same time. Both of those buckets, all four of those buckets are really good to kind of like keep in mind because, and that's also demonstrable proof that the network is just growing and growing. Like the network is kind of off to the races. And I guess that's why it's a good time to bring up kind of Bitcoin's place in broader crypto or broader Web3 or broader blockchain are kind of some other terms you'll hear. And another thing as a beginner is to really understand that wrapping your head around Bitcoin is the easiest one to start with. 100% slam dunk, the easiest one to start with. And the reason for that is because it has the largest network effect. Like it has the largest network effect. It's been around the longest amount of time. It's the most mainstream. The most amount of apps have it. The like most amount of local businesses take it. And so that's what you need to know about Bitcoin as a beginner. If this was helpful, go ahead and watch this next one.